In this video, we're going to evaluate these five integrals that came out in the MIT Integration B qualifying exam in January 2020. Let's get started. First integral. So if you look at this uh, first integral, we can easily evaluate this by u substitution. So we can let this to be our u. And if this is our u, our du will be equal to negative dx. So our dx is just negative du. And of course, our x will be equal to 1 minus u. So this one here becomes 1 minus u. Therefore, we can write our integral as integral of 1 minus u. And then u raised to 2,000 and then times negative du which is uh, equal to integral of uh, u raised to 2001 and then minus uh, u raised to 2000 and then du, which is equal to using just ordinary power rules. So you have here u raised to 2002 all over 2002 and then minus u raised to 2001 over 2001 plus c. And putting back the u in terms of x, so this is just equal to 1 minus x raised to 2002 over 2002 minus 1 minus x raised to 2001 over 2001 plus c. Second integral. So if you look at this integral, so we may try u substitution again. And uh, this time we let the denominator to be our u. So if the denominator is equal to u, so this is a secant raised to 4 of x plus 4, then our du is equal to, you have there, bring down the power, subtract 1 from the power, times the derivative of secant x, which is equal to secant x tangent x, and then dx. But this is just equal to 4 secant raised to 4 of x tangent x dx, which is just a constant multiple of this factor here. Therefore, we can write this factor as du over 4. So we can now write our integral as integral of 1 over u and then times du over 4. Therefore, this is just equal to 1 fourth ln of absolute value of u, but our u is equal to secant raised to 4x plus 4, and then plus c. Now, uh, since uh, this is uh, always uh, greater than 0, so therefore we can replace this uh, absolute value here by just a grouping symbol. And this is our final answer. Next integral. A strategy in evaluating an integral that involves a function raised to a function is to write that function raised to a function in base e. So here we write this down as e raised to ln of x raised to 2x. So therefore, this is just equal to e raised to 2x ln x. Now, uh, by writing this uh, factor here in that form, then we may try u substitution where u is equal to the power of e. So if we let u to be equal to the power of e, which is equal to 2x ln x, then du is uh, equal to 2x times 1 over x and then plus uh, 2 ln x and then quantity dx, which is equal to just 2 plus 2 ln x dx, which is actually equal to this factor here. So therefore, we can write our integral as integral of e raised to u. And then this remaining factor here is just your du. So therefore, this is just equal to e to the u plus c, but our e to the u is actually this one. So therefore, this is just equal to x raised to 2x plus c. Next problem. So we can easily evaluate this integral if uh, we know the interpretation of a definite integral in terms of areas. So if you have a non-negative uh, function, then the definite integral from a to b is just the area of the region bounded by that function in the x-axis from x equals a to x equals b. But what is the graph of y equal to this square root of 1 minus x squared? So the graph of y equal to square root of 1 minus x squared. So actually, you can square both sides, and you'll get here x squared plus y squared equals 1, which is a circle centered at the origin with radius 1. But since y here is greater than or equal to 0, so you have here a semicircle. So the graph looks something like this. And of radius 1, so this is a negative 1, this is a 1, and then this is positive 1. Since we're integrating only from 0 to 1, so we're just looking for this area here, which is just one fourth of area of a circle of radius 1. So therefore, this is just equal to one fourth of the area of a circle 
with radius 1. So this is just pi times 1 squared, which is equal to pi over 4. Lastly, let's evaluate this integral here. We know already the value of uh, the integral 0 to infinity of uh, e raised to negative u squared du because uh, this is just a half of the famous Gaussian integral, which is integral from negative infinity to infinity of e raised to negative u squared du. And what is the value of this uh, Gaussian integral? It is only equal to square root of pi. So this is just equal to square root of pi over 2. Now, uh, this looks like a variant of that uh, Gaussian integral. So let's try to do substitution here. So if we let uh, u to be equal to x squared, then our du is just uh, equal to uh, 2x uh, dx. Okay. Now we can write this integral as uh, integral from 0 to infinity of what you have here x squared quantity squared. And then this is e raised to negative x raised to 4. And then that is times 2x dx and then times 1 half. Now we can replace this by du. And then we can replace this by e raised to negative u squared. And this is just equal to 1 half u squared. So we have this integral. And then when x is equal to 0, u is equal to 0. When x goes to infinity, u goes to infinity. So we have uh, same limits of integration. Now, to evaluate this uh, integral here, we may try integration by parts. So in this case, uh, we can use uh, tabular method. Okay, so di method. So one of the techniques in using integration by parts is to use our dv to be the most complicated part of the integrand that can be integrated. So in this case, we may choose our dv to be equal to, let's say, e raised to negative u squared. And then let's say this is times negative 2u because we can easily integrate this one by uh, substitution. Now, since our integrand is uh, equal to this one, so therefore our function under this d here will be equal to negative 1 fourth u. So that when we multiply them, we'll get this uh, product here, which is 1 half u squared e raised to negative u squared. Now, what is the integral of uh, this one with respect to u? This is just in the form what? Integral of e raised to v dv. So therefore, its integral is just e raised to v, which is e raised to negative u squared. And when we differentiate negative 1 fourth u, we have here negative 1 fourth. So therefore, we can now write our integral as, again, so this is integration by parts as the product of this, which is equal to negative 1 fourth u e raised to negative u squared, again, evaluated from 0 to infinity, and then you have minus the integral of this uh, product. So minus the integral of that product will get there plus uh, integral from 0 to infinity of 1 fourth e raised to negative u squared du. Okay. So we know already the value of this uh, integral here. This is just equal to square root of pi over 2. So now we evaluate this uh, expression here. So uh, this is just equal to a uh, limit as u goes to infinity of this uh, negative u over 4 e raised to u squared. And then when u is equal to 0, of course, that is just equal to 0. And then you have here plus uh, 1 over 4 times uh, square root of pi over 2. Okay. Now to evaluate this uh, limit, we can just do L. Hopital's rule. So this is just equal to limit as u goes to infinity of negative 1 over 4 times e raised to u squared and then times uh, 2u. And then plus e square root of uh, pi over 8. And clearly, this uh, goes to 0 as u goes to infinity. So therefore, this is just equal to square root of pi over 8.